Hello everybody and welcome to the show. I'm SM Sith Lord and this week during the Somnium Space build stream right here, we're going to be remodeling this awesome building which was used for a couple things. It was in Fashion Week, also the um, developers had a kind of a game show thing going on there. Good fun. Now it's time to transform this into a stage. A really cool stage well there's already a stage here but we're gonna change this stage into one that's gonna represent um, a, a TEDx stage with the colors and everything and um, we're gonna have some cross metaverse stuff some very metaverse -y stuff going on on this stage all right so <clears throat> Two things. The backdrop for this stage, we want to be city center back there. So we should put it where the green screen is. Um, which also means we're gonna have to modify this um, stage that I'm making a little bit so it has an open view to the city behind it. Do that. So right now I need to block out where this stage is going to be. Will it be exactly at the same place or not? Let me think here how I could fit this into the corner. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's delete some of this stuff. <gasps> Not that stuff. Stuff. We're gonna remodel this to be a rather large stage area. This wall, whoops, this wall might have to come down. So if we're going to have a big area, we'd need to raise up the elevation like so, so it could fit. Maybe we wouldn't. Maybe we could have it down there. We just section off that little beach area. Now the question is, would this stage be large enough to do what we wanted? Ooh, we might have to make a mini version or adjust these buildings some, let me think. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, let's go for a slightly minified version. At least on the wings. And let's see how the backdrop looks here. Um, I'll have to upload some cool curtain textures for that. Oh, we have a big curtain texture, but no skinny curtain texture. I'll just throw the big one on it for now. Hey, that actually doesn't look that bad. So something like this, except for the backdrop is going to have a hole in it so you can see the city, I think. Let's play around with that a little bit. Wow, that barely fit. Awesome. What texture is that? Ooh, that looks awesome. That doesn't match, though. Maybe we'll use this somewhere else. Uh, I need a black-ish texture. Um, you know, I'm probably going to have to upload some black curtains for this one, too. So for now, I'll put a black carpet on it. Is that carpet? Eh, it looks like it could be carpet. Okay, and then what would it look like with one more over here? Those are cool little platforms up there. The whole stage is real cool. And we're deleting it. Oop, not that one. Not yet. That was an interesting use of tables there. Very cool. Um, I wanted to free up some parcel credits so I can put some of these in here, these lights. Oh yeah, let me try to keep up with the chat. Oh man, I was so behind the chat. What's up? Scions. Um, let me catch up here. Well, yeah, it looked cool to start off with, but I'm remodeling here. Yes, awesome. Okay, I um, I just cloned that thing and made the little curtains, and the blocks of the curtains are just sitting there on it. Indeed. Um, you can't see them from both sides. Maybe I'll adjust that and make this block more like this so you can see it on the front and the back by making it bigger. But for now, it's good there. 
Sess. Okay. Um, and they're looking good. I'm also looking at reference pictures, and I freed up the lights to make these spotlights. So let's do that. Now these spotlights, they produce the, um, the cookie, you know, the good visual effect. They don't actually light the stuff that they hit. You need to spawn an actual light for that. Um, but I don't want them to light anything. I'm actually going to be putting them pointed at the sky. Um, I will have to adjust this. I'm looking at the reference picture and the stage is a little bit different. But we want these to be long and skinny. Just like that is how they look in the reference picture. And um, let's get the stage looking the way that we want. This stage has one, two, three steps leading up to it. Let's make those three steps. Yeah, well, if these lights that produce the, um, the cookie like that, they are only 20 parcel credits. Um, well, only, that, that's a lot, that's 20 shapes, but that's not as much as an, an actual light, which costs 50 parcel credits, but actually um, produces light. Oops. Like this light over here. So usually I put at least one actual light in the parcel, um, but you could put several of these kind of things in there. And I need to put eight of these light beams. That's too many. I'm going to cut it back to two light beams on each side, and then we'll see if there's the parcel credits left in the end to add more. Optimization, you know, getting my parcel credits down, is usually something I do at the end, or near the end. I keep it in mind the whole time, but I don't actually go and start changing things until I know how much I need to change. Okay, so we'll just set this block inside of it and expand it out for our first step. And we'll do something similar for the steps thereafter. Um, the steps will be a little bit odd compared to how I normally make stairs. However, this is going to match what they have in the reference picture for the other stage that I'm mimicking. So I'll do some of that and push it out over here. Cool. And I need one more of these, I believe. Changing the lighting conditions here so I can see the edges more clearly. This is one of the few level editors for a game that has the day-night system in the level editor also. So I could change it to nighttime if I wanted to, to test it out at night, change it to daytime, test it out at day, but this one is actually dynamic light and if I zoom in on the shadows, this one's dynamic light. If I zoom in on the shadows, you see, let me find a shadow now, that they're actually crawling along because the day-night system is in progress. Oh yes, so the limit of, of how many parcel credits you have is actually a pretty genius idea. Um, this world of Somnium here, everybody shares. It's a shared, um, I used to be able to explain this in like two words, really abstract words. It's, it's a um, single instance shared virtual world. How about that? That was so many words. Um, meaning that whatever you build, other people see. So everybody has to share the world so we couldn't um, have it so somebody could spawn like a thousand lights on, on their parcel because that would cause a performance impact. So when you see the parcel credits, you can think of them as performance credits. That's why things like lights that are um, quote unquote expensive for your GPU to render, it uses a lot of power from your GPU, those 
um, cost 50 parcel credits. They're the most expensive thing besides like a video, which is also 50 credits. While something like a shape only takes one parcel credit. This is a shape, which is just a block or, or any other kind of primitive shape. Um, because those don't impact performance. So the parcel credits are performance credits, so to speak. And um, that's why they're distributed the way that they are. Yep, yep. And, I mean, you always need to have performance in mind when you're designing stuff. Uh, as a developer, you always have it in mind. Um, so maybe it's a new concept to people that are more on the user side. But there was a quote when you were standing in line for the old, um, no longer existent ride at Disneyland called Innoventions, which was a combination of the word inventions and innovention. innovation. Uh, in Innoventions, the little robot, they had a really cool robot there, that animatronic robot that was talking to you. Um, he had a quote about how when uh, restrictions are in place, that's when innovation happens. Because if there are no restrictions, you have no reason, reason to innovate. You just do what works. But when you have to uh, work within the restrictions of the reality of a restrictions, either physical restrictions or performance restrictions and stuff like that, then you start thinking differently. And you start thinking of things like... Um, Trying to make one neon look like it's multiple neons, which was a trick that I did a couple times in last week's build. Um, you start just trying to uh, optimize. Okay, let me push this back into the wall. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, you know, that is a, a serious restriction that I believe most people have to work under uh, until they become like a big time streamer or something, um, is using free tools. 3D uh, game dev is the same way. If you're going to work with free modeling software, you're using Blender because Blender is free. Maybe it's not the best one. It's pretty good, but maybe it's not the best one, but that doesn't really matter because you uh, you have these restrictions to work under and you see some of the stuff that people make using um, free tools like Blender or the free version of Unity, and it's impressive. They work within the restrictions well. Well, some, you know. There's crappy games too. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a pillar. That's part of the support system. I'll just move it down a little bit. I got into some weird mode that isn't letting me move my camera around. Yeah, so let me click save. Save, and then I'll just recome to this parcel and see if that fixes it. I must have pressed like a weird button and tabbed out at a weird moment. Okay. I'm gonna relaunch. Hopefully that fixes my mouse. So I'll be back in one second. And we'll see if my mouse is behaving more. If it's still broken after that, maybe I'll try a new mouse. Okay, I'm going to go to the holding screen for just a moment. I'll see you all on the flip side. Oh, hey, I had to come back to talk about the, um, the question. No, the, um, the support beam down there is something that I actually put there for realism. When you're building in the metaverse here, any game, you, um, you don't have to uh, adhere, well, I guess not any game, some games are like physics simulators, but um, the support beams that you add into your structures are there to make your structure look, look real. You could make some kind of futuristic structure that has flubber in its foundation that makes it float. Does anybody know what flubber was? Because that was like a really old movie, then it was a really crappy movie. And I don't think they made a third remake. <laughs> Anyways, flubber floats. So if you have some kind of floating material in your space age foundation, 
Um, you could say that that's why it's floating. So um, th objects don't fall to the ground and you don't have to make up stories like there's floating material in my foundation and that's why my house floats. That's just fan fiction, so to speak. <laughs> you could just make things float however you want and explain it however you want. Just like that. And that's pretty important too because when you're walking around Somnium here, you're going to come across abstract art that if it were built in reality might need wires and cables everywhere just suspending it because you know the, the structural soundness of art pieces is a huge limitation that you have to work under if you're a physical artist if you're making your art in a virtual world you don't have to worry about the weight the weight load on on weak parts of your your sculpture and stuff like that so stuff looks pretty different however i like to try to keep things looking based in regular reality and that's why I add things like foundations. Um, if I had the parcel credits, I would go as far as adding things like bathrooms. Think about that. Bathrooms. You don't see a lot of bathrooms in games because your guy never really has to go. Your little character. But that's a cool thing to see in a, a, in a house that um, ties it to reality. Now I'm thinking, I don't know if I've ever seen a bathroom. I don't know if I've seen somebody build a bathroom in a Somnium parcel. It's possible that there isn't one yet, which means if I did it in my next build, I could be the first. Okay, let's get back on point here. We want a white floor to match my reference picture. Oh, there's carpet, cool. We want a red circle for the stage area. We'll use a shape for that. Hmm. I'm gonna have a screen. Now, I want to show the city in the background, and the way that these things are set up, they don't really show the city in the background. Another thing, I want red curtains. I might open up some... Where are all my textures at? Some, uh, my, my image editor to build textures. Here, I want to make a black version of this thing. Could I do it? Sure I could. I'll just run it through a, a filter or two. So let's open it in my poor man's Photoshop, which is called... What do I use? Photo Impact? Yes! Now, some of you out there might be saying, hey, Photoshop is what I use for image editing. But, um... And I, I actually was trained on Photoshop because I was uh, I, I took some classes at the community college for graphic design and they taught me Photoshop and other Adobe tools. Um, what am I doing here? I'm opening something from over here. That image of the red drapes, which I have in the Jedi archives. Shared text. And we're gonna run a um, filter on it. Let's see here. We're gonna effects. This is not Somnium stuff here. I'm just trying to make my texture real quick, which you can do in any program. There we go. We got black curtains. I'll take it. File. Save. Curtains 3 is what we'll call this one. Alright, now that I have my image, I just go over here and I upload it. Um, to do that, I gotta remove one of these. Have a texture slot and grab it from here. So that's another one of the um, limitations that you work, or the uh, I guess limitations is a word for it that you work within. The boundaries is how many uh, textures that you have up there. You, you don't want somebody to have, you know, 100 high resolution textures on a little parcel because that would cause performance issues. Needlessly. 
So there is a set number of textures that you can have for each parcel. I believe the number is different for each parcel size, like XL parcels get more, though I'm not exactly sure on that. But I freed up a texture slot. Now I could put this black curtain on here. And the reason I wanted that is so I can make it look like these curtains open because I want to be able to see behind it. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna put these curtains in the open position and then, so they're not suspended in the air, we're gonna run a bar going through them because I like making things that look like they're based in our reality. And in our reality, you need to have a bar that's, that supports your curtain. Maybe I should say my reality. Who the hell knows who's picking up this signal? All right. Um, concrete? No, metal. Yeah. Wow! I had to look that up! That is so cool! You know, I got Generation 1 Stream Deck. That's how I can do things like mute my mic mid-send. Tense. Yeah, you know, I stopped talking also when I muted it. <laughs> but I just looked that up and that's like a, uh, a digital Stream Deck. That's awesome. And it's free. Yeah, the Stream Deck was not free. However, LED buttons. That's so cool. But you know, you got it on a tablet. It's just as good, I suppose. Okay, so we have our curtain going across the top. Now we need a foundation, like a wall. Do we need a wall? That looks pretty good, actually. Maybe I'll put a rail, yeah. What do we have for some rails? So the speaker doesn't, you know, get tipsy and fall off the pier there. It happens. Um, Handrail. Yeah. Curtains can move. Yes, you would make them. You would not make them as shapes. You would make them as visual scripting, movable shape. You would make a movable shape. And let me just show you real quickly how that works. Let's say that the ball was my curtain. Bad curtain, I know. Um, so it's a movable shape. You have all these options. What I want to do is record the movement over here and then click stop. Now it has my movement recorded. You see how it shows the destination when, I, when, when it's not selected, it just shows where it starts. But when you select it, it shows its destination. Then I could play with these options here. These options let me, um, you could change the color with the animation. We'll do some of that. We'll change the in color. Uh, we'll change it to red. Okay. Turn off record. And with speed, we'll leave it on one. We'll make it loop. We'll um, in out. We'll ease in and out. And we'll start it automatically and click play. Wait. Immediate activation. Play. I did something wrong. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, one is just a super slow speed. Let's give it nine. There we go. And you see how it changes colors going back and forth? I would just make the curtain like that, you know, minus the color changing part of it. Now, um, I had this set to just go, always, right? These switches are in here are how you would control whether it just goes um, by itself, if it waits till somebody interacts with it somehow, um, if, whether it loops or not. I'm not an expert at moving objects. I usually just do elevators where people stand on it and it goes or it just constantly goes. But you play around with these settings, you can do some cool stuff. Okay, um, this curtain looks good. Um, let me check my reference pictures so how the sides are going to look.
we're gonna want um, an image, I think, over there. So let's put a placeholder image on those things. We'll put Somnium Space logo over here as the placeholder image, which may very likely get replaced with the um, the profile picture of the speaker because there is going to be somebody standing on this stage giving the speech. And um, that's this right over here is the perfect place to put their headshot. Uh, I think on the actual stage in the reference, oh, it's a slideshow behind them. But yeah, these are good. We're gonna need some a couple screens here. I'm gonna make another shape over here for it. Oops. Scale it down. That's some gray shit. It's gray stuff, excuse me. All right, pull this out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now I, I kind of want to throw some neons into here. This is the perfect place to put a little neon glow around that sign, but I'll wait till the end to do that. Let's keep ticking through here. Oh, the rail. I was going to position this rail. Cool. Yeah, it's great having you. I do hope, though, uh, the chat gets so popular that we, uh, we need more mods in the chat. Right now, mods usually are banning the bots that plague Twitch. OMG, are the bots everywhere on Twitch. All right, and we got that. the alignment on this. Is that correct? It might be correct. Just got to put it in the right place. That object is so small that it's sitting inside the other object. That's okay. I'm just moving one at a time. Now I kind of want a box or something for this to be sitting here. I've been building things in Somnium's Builder here for about a year now. Um, I've been making levels in other games and other level editors and stuff like that for a very long time though, like 20, 30 years. 30? More like 20 years, maybe 25. Um, so I'm familiar with uh, you know regular game design concepts. Uh, I'm also pretty familiar with the, the concepts of behind uh, Somnium Space with it being this shared persistent world where people build in because I was really into games where you could build things like the Lego games and stuff like that. So um, things like the, the parcel uh, credits to limit the, the performance impact of each parcel. That's awesome. That addresses a problem that I know is an issue in, in a lot of apps where people just go crazy building stuff.
copy that thickness over to these other ones. A. Now we need to get these curtains onto the other stages. And to control the um, stretching of the texture here, I'm going to break it up into two panels. Okay, so let's finish these spotlights, put them on both sides, see how it goes. Whoops! That was a visual scripting block. I almost spawned that by accident. I want just a regular shape. Let's see here, can I make these any more detailed than I already have? Yeah, that works. Cool, later on, CES. C -E -S. That's all that I see when I look at that name. Con Consumer Electronics Show.
Caesar! Okay. It's kind of in there. Scissor. <laughs> Later on. Looking good. Um, those beams, are they pointed forward too much? They might be all right. Hey, got it. Can I afford three? I don't know if I can. Okay, it's 60. No, I can't afford three. So this one's going over here on the other side. It's going to be rotated. I don't know how many degrees, that many degrees, whatever that was. Get a media microphone in there. I don't know if you would use this kind of mic in a TED talk. Probably have one that clips onto your lapel so you can walk around and talk with your hands. Okay. 
How is it looking? Taking another look at the reference picture. I could pull off something here, I think. So the reference picture has a white ceiling to the stage. I wonder if I could add a white ceiling to this stage without it looking too weird. I'm going to try to patch up the sand that we see here.
wonder if I can make this look like some kind of bleachers up here. Maybe not. I had a brick wall. That must have been one of the default brick walls. Walls. There is one.
coming together. Four seventy seven is what I want this thing to be. On this edge. Perfect. What is this? This is uh, 4 point so 4.77 plus whatever the thickness is, which is 0 0.66, which leaves me 5.43. 5.43 for a perfectly sized shape. Just about perfect. I have to patch something up over there on the left. This is looking pretty good though.
Okay, these balls. I think we could salvage these balls. Put a tree over there in that spot. Okay, how can I patch up the outsides to look better? Because they look weird and I don't think there's too much I can do. Maybe I'll worry about the outside last. 
and maybe throwing some more support pillars in on the edges could help. As far as I could get to the edge on that side because of the border bounds. Yeah. Now, I put the white awning up there to imitate the uh, ceiling that they have in the other set, the reference image. Um, and there's one more part of that to make it look complete. And that is to have little... What are these? Um, triangles? No, they're wedges. To put little wedges in there. So let's go to Shapes. Click Save, just for... Just in case, um, we'll make a wedge. Try to make it uh, equilateral. Or isosceles, it looks like. Um, is that the same thing? Wait a second. Equilateral isosceles. Isosceles, all the angles are the same, which means all the sides are the same also. Did you know? Oh no! Ah oh, no! All the interior angles of a triangle add up to be 180 degrees. Yeah, this will do it. Now, I should put neons on these if I wanted them to really look like they do in the source. However, I don't I think this might be close enough and nice and cheap as far as parcel credits go. I don't know, maybe I can afford dropping a couple glows in there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's important because it's one of the few aspects that tie this stage into the other stage. We already have enough differences happening with the open curtains and stuff like that. Um, so these lights being up here are real good. I'm going to add two more of them, I think, at least. How's my distribution of them going to go? I think it will go something like this.
Okay. Looking good. As far as the stage elements, did I do everything that I wanted to? I think that I did. Now, I could increase the amount of spotlights. There are a lot of spotlights in my source images here. There's four on each side. I have four total. It would cost 80, at least 80 parcel credits to make those spots in there. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to leave it with the two spots. Should I go to three spots? I'm going to leave it with the two spots. And I'm going to focus on making this part not as crappy. And I might need another light to do that. Oh, I was going to build another um, viewing section over here. Yes, let's do that. Some of these white handrails back here. Red neon needs to go into that uh, roof awning there.
Oh, I can't make it glow out on the sides because it's so close to the edge of the parcel. I have to manually expand this thing. Whoa, look at those colors. Those are such nice colors. Okay, um, the seating area. Let's, let's focus on the stage thing. We'll get a little bit more decoration over here. How about a red light? Lights, lights. And then over here in this area, I need to put something. I don't want to use up all the parcel credits, though, because the, there's going to be some signage and stuff that goes out here. Got some stuff kind of reserved there, but um, I'm going to keep some parcel credits open. So over here, I think we're going to make a chill-out area with some couches and stuff. A lounge. Sure, and let's do that with the remaining time. What is my uptime here? I'm not sure. I don't think that Twitch knows that by default, does it? We're going for two hours, but I forgot when I started. Maybe YouTube will tell me. Started 82 minutes ago, so we got some time left. Thank you, Pablo. Just caught up on the YouTube chat there. Okay, this is looking good. The outside looks a little weird, but that's okay. We'll focus on the inside. We have the light. We have about 40, we have exactly 48 parcel credits left to work with. Let's build this area over here, the chill area. And for the chill area, we need some nice tile. Oh, you know what? This is better than tile. We'll have this space age kind of platform here.
And we'll put some couches in it. Throw a couple plants in there for good measure. Now to make this look cooler, let's do this. Okay, am I done trying to imitate the stage? I think that I am. I got the black stage, red circle, black curtains, red curtains, signage. We're looking good. So now it's all about tying everything together on this little parcel here. And I have a good amount of parcel credits left to do it. But like I said, I need to free up some of those. Okay, this part over here looks bad. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. That's good. Cuts off most of the weirdness there. How about some tall old trees here? Yeah. Let's 
trying to keep people away from walking into that corner because there's not much in that corner. Okay, I'm going to do something to try to make this look better from the outside here. And it's going to cost me one, two, three, four, maybe four, five, six parcel credits. We'll see. It's going to be some cylinders. I'm just going to plug up these holes. With oversized white cylinders. There we go. That'll do. And it doesn't change this view at all. Cool. Okay, now we're running low on parcel credits. We do want to leave some in reserve, probably to the 20 that are left we want to leave in reserve, but let's just go through here and give it a once over, make sure that it's gonna adapt well. We're gonna have an image change for this image and that image probably, and those would go well. An image could go on this wall, it would have to glow though. Something glowing. Otherwise I'd need to put a light on it. We don't have enough parcel credits for a light. So whatever image this ends up being, I'm gonna put the Somnium Space logo as a placeholder. This will have to be something that looks well when it's uh, lit up like that. I could add a piece of glass, two pieces of glass, which are five parcel credits each. No, 10, so that'd be 20 parcel credits. That'd take me over the limit. Can't do it. These structural things could be moved out some. Sure the stairs are still looking correct for going into this place. Ah! 
Now when you come in, <laughs> the arrow will direct you, just in case you weren't sure. Alright, I think this looks good. Let me click save. And... Ready to click publish and take some screenshots. Talking. After um, this finishes uploading, I'm going to take a couple screenshots and then that will be wrapping up the stream there. I compose my screenshots in this thing here. There's an ant in my coffee. That ruins the whole coffee. There's a little, little bit of coffee left. It's so depressing. All right, there's that. We'll take this and turn that off and take a couple screenshots. Oh, I just realized I have a huge desktop right now because I have an extended monitor. So this is going to be huge and I'm going to have to crop it. Not bad, not bad. Let's get another one. Okay, we're going to post those two screenshots to the Twitter, and that will conclude the stream for today. Thanks everybody for tuning in once again. I'm SM Sith Lord. You saw my name on the sign when the stream started. This is the Somnium Space stream. Um, it's the building stream, I mean, right now. There are other streams that happen right here on this channel, such as the, I, I would say that this is the easy mode building because I do it in the builder. Hard mode building comes up when somebody comes and does Blender stuff and Unity stuff where there it's kind of limitless then. You can do anything you can imagine. You're not restricted to, to primitive shapes and stuff like that. Um, that happens over the weekend, I believe, but also the uh, Somnium Disco happens where there's like a music event that happens in world and gets streamed right here to Twitch. So if you want to check those out, be sure to click follow and I'll see you next Thursday. Wait a second. 
next Friday morning for me. Time zones are a little bit weird because this show happens so early in the morning. Next Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, I'll see you right here. All right, everybody, later on.